Hey again! So today's actually a special day here in Malaysia. It's Hari Raya, or also known as Eid Mubarak. Wait, I know I've got a new package with me right now, and I'm so excited to open it. Uh, I think I've really got to change real quick. Just give me a minute. As part of the celebration, I'm gonna dress up for the occasion. Okay, anyways, let's talk about this keyboard. This keyboard is pretty cool. I think it has been circulating around the mechanical keyboard world known as one of the most affordable, the HS keyboard. The brand itself comes from a major manufacturer of keyboards based in China called Epo Maker. You may know this brand as the one that makes a GK and SK series keyboard. That, that one, you know. When I think of HS, I think of this keyboard. Their most popular, affordable, light plastic exterior with colorful modifier keycaps. I mean, it's it's okay, nothing special, I guess. But now, Ajaz really bumped up their game by making a CNC aluminum kit version called the AC064. If it's aluminum, it looks way fancier than the plastic ones, to be honest. So let's see what we've got in this keyboard kit. So the HS AC064 keyboard kit surely does stand out on its own. This aluminum keyboard kit with included keycaps, key switches is pretty impressive. All for $180, you're definitely getting your money's worth out of it. And it does make a vibrant piece for your desk with its sunny yellow case. The aluminum case feels rigid, solid, and hefty. It has a slight textured matte finish. Even though it's aluminum, the color coding can chip off easily. So do be warned because yeah, I did get a slight nick on mine. The sweet banana switches by HS looks perfect. The tactility has a really rounded bump, not too sharp, not too dull. It does have a bit of scratch to it and the sound. For me, it sounds hollow and pingy, but with a little help of modding and tender love and care, it will sound way better. The banana switches has a light spring and would produce a clockier sound after looping. Okay, right now I'm gonna start modding this keyboard, but first I need to take out all of the key switches. <sighs> yep, let's start modding this keyboard. Can you just see how yellow it is? I've never seen a yellow keyboard before. This looks so pretty. I like how the key switches match with the case. They look like... I wish that they would smell like bananas, you know, because of the color. Okay, for lubing switches and for those getting into the keyboard hobby, please get a switch opener, it's a lifesaver. But if you don't have one with you at the moment, I've got a quick switch trick that might help you. This involves taking your already opened switch top housing and using its two clip latch to wedge in between the other two clips. But this works with MX style switches that has a similar latch style mechanism only like this and voila it's open oh reminder never loop the legs of a tactile switch because it can ruin the tactile's sharp bump just 
Don't do it. So when it comes to looping steps, I'm going to use my favorite technique, the cotton pad mod. If you're curious to see how or why I do this, check my other video on the cotton pad mod where I explain it in much more detail. Finally, I can get to foam mod it. I'm curious to see what exactly is inside. The only reason I do this is because I didn't like how it sounded in the beginning. Maybe through foam modding, it can reduce a lot of that initial hollowness from the inside of the case. Ooh, and it also comes with dampening foam inside. That's good. Ah, the beautiful, mysterious keycaps. To be honest, I have no clue what type of profile it is. It was never stated on the box or website, but it's definitely Apple Maker's proprietary keycap profile made of PBT plastic. Yeah, they have been making their own keycap profiles, but this one had no particular name for it. But I do notice it's like a blend of OEM and XDA profile, but with a lot less surface area on top and more of a dip in the middle. I'm not a fan of how the keycap looks, but hey, the real question is, does this keyboard sound good? Okay, about this keyboard, I'm in love with it. I just think that the color is very gorgeous. They should make more yellow keyboards out there. I get why some people might not like yellow because it may look like a toy because of the color. It does resemble like a toy keyboard. But I wouldn't say. It really depends on what kind of scheme that you're going for in your desk setup. Also. I just completely like typing on this thing. At first, I thought it sounded horrible. That's why I went to mod it and I filled it up with foam and glued the switches. It sounds so much better after the modding and it's really loud. I would say it's absolutely loud if you don't lube it. After lubing it, it sounds way better and so satisfying. Can you hear that? Anyways, this keyboard, wow, it's pretty hefty. The total weight of this chunk is about 1.2 kgs. Not something that you can bring around a lot. The Bluetooth works and pairs perfectly and it's compatible with most operating systems. The toggle button allows you to switch between wired or wireless mode. The battery lasts pretty decently too. Software a huge con for me. There was no execution files listed in Apple Maker's website. Total bummer, especially for a 65% keyboard. I would expect it to have a workable software at least, but it's non-existent so far. As for the LED light, it's definitely bright and shines well through keycaps. This is a north-facing LED, which might not sound as good when using cherry keycaps due to switch interference with the keycap. As for switch compatibility, yup, it can fit mostly all of MX style switches. Overall, I think that ACO64 keyboard definitely proves that it's a worthy all-in-one aluminum keyboard kit. The unique colorway and tactile switches could be great for someone who's looking to upgrade to an aluminum kit. Though I wished they would come up with a software for the key mapping, that would be great. But otherwise, it's a solid keyboard. Yes, there's a one smaller shift size on the right, but that shouldn't be a problem if you really want to transition to a 65%. It just takes a few months to get used to it and then you're set. 
Okay, real quick, before I end this, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much for all the support that you've given me, the 3K subscribers and all the nice comments I've got. I know some of you messaged me saying that my videos help you guys build your very own keyboard. Oh, I mean, that's so cool. I, it's so cool. So yeah, thank you. It really means a lot to me. And yep, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do because it's gonna make me so happy and Selamat Hari Raya! Happy Eid Mubarak for those that are celebrating! So I'm gonna go now and celebrate and play with this keyboard. Bye guys! See you next time!